at Hermosa Beach, which is 22 miles from downtown LA, the first ever Queen of the Beach tournament was held. There were divisions in both high school and college and represented a great way to close a spectacular year for the sport. In May, the NCAA contested their first ever championship. Players like Long Beach State's Sammy Thomas are excited for what the future holds. Beach volleyball is my sport, it's my life, and every tournament there's more and more people coming out. It just means so much. I love that it's growing, and with the Olympics coming up, I feel like after every Olympics there's a new pool of fans, so after this Olympics hopefully there will be a ton of people. Speaking of Olympics, the queen of the beach is the brainchild of 2000 gold medalist Eric Fanoi Moana. He got his inspiration from the annual King of the Beach tourney, which he won in 1999. It's great to put them in a scenario where they're forced to play with somebody and they got to figure out how to win. Um, and there's a lot of strategy involved in there. And there's also communicating with someone you've never met before, maybe. Um, and if there's any type of friction, you got to put it away if you want to win. The Queen of the Beach places a premium on versatility. Players are randomly paired with the results determined by wins, losses, and point differential. Participants came from around the country, and the Queens were Sammy Thomas of Long Beach State and Mima Mirkovic of Woodbridge High in Irvine. USC's Nicolette Martin, who was second in the college division, was very impressed with the high school talent pool. They're amazing now, and the fact that they're amazing now before they even get to college they're going to be so good and they're just going to make the sport gain that much more attention. 